Rick, Jennifer, a small crowd starting to grow around the monument here in Cherokee Circle. You can take a look at them out here right now. Organizers say this monument is a symbol of racism and bigotry that needs to be removed. To erect mon monuments to hate and bigotry and slavery and uh, the shame of our nation, um, we can move past that. It was 1913 when the John B. Castleman Monument was installed in Cherokee Circle. Castleman was a Confederate officer before serving in the United States Army. He helped work on the Louisville Park System. Everybody has done something good in their life, but to think that that overshadows um, the horror of what he was a part of and what he was proud of. And he was very proud at the time of, of what he was doing in the Civil War. Orange paint covers parts of the monument police say was vandalized over the weekend. It's a symbol of hate and bigotry and it uh, doesn't need to be shoved in the face of, of people who have suffered from it. Becky Winchell is a member of the group Louisville Standing Up for Racial Justice. They're organizing the rally, calling for the removal of the monument. We are there because um, as white folks, we have historically ignored um, the normalization of symbols of hate and bigotry. Last year, the Confederate monument near the University of Louisville campus was removed and relocated to Brandenburg. Now, Mayor Greg Fisher is calling for a review of all of the city's public art. But I think it's a good start. We do need, we do, need to do that. Now, are you taking a look at a crowd of a few dozen people? Uh, we just heard someone come over an intercom here, a speaker a microphone that they were speaking on, and it uh, looks like things are just starting to begin. This rally was set to start at 6. It looks like things are going to be kicking off any minute now. Organizers say tonight's rally will be a way for people to talk about any concerns they have about monuments across the city, like this one. Reporting live, Emily Maha, WLKY News.